Hello everyone, I'm Black Alex 88 fan here, and we're gonna be doing some more NASCAR Heat 5 Championship mode. If I'm not mistaken, this is number 13 or number 12. I have no idea. And actually, no, this is number 13 because it says it right up there. But we're going to Talladega. I'm so sorry. I've been uh, inconsistent, not consistent, it's just because of school, and it's been around like three or four weeks, and uh. I just promise you, I'm sorry. Well, it's not really a promise. I messed up my line. But there's the stories of the race. We're at Talladega. There's our paint scheme right there. We're going to be starting in the rear because there's really no point of qualifying. I mean, why is there a point of qualifying? But the green flag is in the air. We're racing at, at Talladega. That's right. Newman's actually the pole sitter. So as we're racing at Talladega, as we're on the helmet cam right here, See, you know, a little shifting, and there's actually a, our Valvoline, another Valvoline car is Alex Bowman behind us. He didn't have to start in the rear. So, yeah. So, two of the Valvoline paint schemes starting in the back. Maybe we can potentially have a chance at a win. I mean, anyone could actually win. That's how it or a Daytona. There's the flyby of the field right here. Other ring turns three and turns four. As we go here, Ryan Newman still your race leader. He looks to be on the top lane, which I don't understand why. And now we're actually trying to, trying to pass Timmy Hill and Chris Busher. Now Bowen's actually getting in front of us, but Bowen's going to pull a block so we slow our momentum down. And so we're going to ride on Alex Bowen's bumper now. He's now entering lap two. Oh, and now we're on to lap two. 13 laps remaining in stage number one of pulling the block. That's now. Newman is still your race leader as Cameron Harvick just not been good at mount no, not mount has the shifter plates. Like he's just been not doing really good at shifter plates. And the shifter plates I say tone or tell it seems he always struggles. But it's only these types of tracks, so if, you know one of these are in the playoffs. So he could be in danger, but who knows? Now, entering turn and we're actually gonna make contact I was about to say entering turn three about four Y for about thirtieth place. And here that's William Byron on the outside. Byron, you know, he's in the, uh, Byron's having a, a decent, you know, up and down year, you know, been good, it been awful. And now, coming, 12 laps to go, I just want to mention Christopher Bell, you know, I know you've probably seen the last video, but, you know, he wants a, a shaking up the playoffs, the playoff picture as well. That shakes up the playoff picture, so, yeah. So maybe, who knows, this could also shake up the playoff picture. Two races in a row. The playoffs could be messed up because we have a new, we could have a new winner. Just like the Ross Chastain, but I don't even know if it's the top 30 in points. We got a caution as we're actually up in the top in 22nd position. Matthew Benedetto is in your race lead, is the race leader. We got a caution, almost passed in Hamlin. We needed that because... Of, we were going to go starting the inside lane, but now the disadvantage, we are going to be on the outside. So, coming back to the research zone. Uh, it looks like the green flag is back down in the air with seven laps to go. Seven laps remaining at sta in stage number one. Kerry Bush is actually going to stay behind me. I don't know what happened. I don't I have no idea. He was in the back number as the inside lane checks up. It's they actually checked up. It makes the outside lane get a better momentum now. We only gained one spot. Now we gain two spots. And look at the spots we are gaining. All because that inside lane checked up. And now entering turns three and turns four. To Benedetto still your race leaders. We're three wide. It's Jones in the middle getting the back of Ryan Blaney is now still. Straight wide Jones gets loose. We're gonna lose a couple more positions now. Jones in the middle. Blaney's on one. David Reagan's on the outside. Contact between Jones and Blaney. Crazy racing. Almost four wide. Jones is still loose. The car. Big contact of Ryan Blaney. Still losing positions. Joey Gase now gets around us. Here comes Stenos on the inside. Stenos is gonna push the issue. He's gonna make another bold three wide move. As Bubble Wallace is now dropping back like a rock all the way back to 21st. Still three wide. Here comes Reagan. He's gonna try to do it. Oh my goodness. What a great race battle here. For then in the 20s. You would expect this for a race lead. But no, for 20th place, we get a good momentum. We got a good run on Eric Jones. Jones is trying to go up and down. 
is now still worth four wide. Joey Gates making that inside line work off the six change, I believe. Is now trying to push Denny Hamlin. It was he have a, almost a Joe Gibbs sandwich. But Kyle Bush, I believe, he's in the top ten, top five, somewhere like that. Five laps remaining. Doesn't seem we're gonna get stage points, but we just at this point we're trying to get a better positioning to restart after this stage. And now trying to pass Trix. Trix has not been a good restriction point racer now. Is now it looks like just Senna's is gonna get around me. Is now we're gonna on the lap 12 now we we'll in the top 15 clearing Matt the minute that who's just in the lead I believe that's Joey Logano who's in the race lead and trying to pass Kyle Busch number 18 Eminem's Toyota Camry's Jones is going to be on my inside can't clear that but we're going to get the momentum off because of the 21 of Benedetto it looks like they check up right up there three laps remaining and we're going to get in the back of Ricky Steno Jr. still Maybe potentially be in the top 10. So we can get some valuable stage points. Up to 12. Making it 3 wide. On Brendan Gunn and Ryan Freeze. Uh, speaking of Freeze. Uh, his teammate Stanhouse has been obviously aggressive here. Stanhouse is following Diddy Hamlin. As you see, there's Christopher Bell. Last race's winner at Homestead. With two laps remaining. Potentially he could win the stage because anything could happen. John Arnimacek, race leader. Is now on the outside lane. And now down the back straightaway we go. Pushing out 77 of Ross Chastain. He's going to get a good run. He doesn't take the run, but I take the run. But Chastain is going to get a better run. Priest is on. Oh, they're actually three wide behind us. I don't know. I, that could be Bowman behind me. I'm not sure. Now we're going to Kansas. I realize he has a run. He's going to push me. Is now. It looks like. John Arnimichik? No, John Arnimichik is not in the lead. I think that's Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson in the race lead. White flag for stage number one. Jimmy Johnson has been nowhere near winning top winning speed. But now, trying to win his first stage of this season. Could this be the race where Jimmy Johnson wins and makes the playoffs? Down the back straightaway we go. And now we're gonna make it almost four wide for the ninth position. It's still side three wide, I might bad. Not side by side. Oh, but the caution actually comes out just before past Bell. Again, side by side of Stenhouse. Jimmy Johnson wins stage number one. Could this be the race? Could this be the race where Jimmy Johnson wins since 2017? As you see, everyone else, Bowman has still not made any progress. The first caution was, I believe, was Quinn Half. So everyone's hitting. I guess Michael Bedell is staying out, or he could have potentially been the caution, unless it's a race strategy call. But I don't think so. It looks like we're gonna try potentially take four right, four tires. I'm debating to take four tires or right sides. But we're gonna take four tires. Nothing really changed in the front, but Ty Dillon. Um, better pit stop. Justin gets one position. Justin loses the positions. When the green flag is back in here. We get a horrible restart. I'm assuming we made contact with an AI or the game just made us go in the AI. But look at our speed now. We're dropping like a rug inside of the top 10. And now we're barely, we're barely outside the top 6. We're barely outside the top 15. And now we're still losing spots for Bubba Wallace. We lose spots to Bubba Wallace. Reddick. There's Suarez on the outside. I might as well just pull out the way, but we drop back 10 of positions. Here comes Ryan Priest now. Priest is going to get a huge run. He looks like he's going to drive so fast. But we move him into the 17th position in the next lap. Down a trial. Well, Reddick's still blocking. Is now trying to get around these guys. 11 laps remaining in the stage. Trying to side draft the 8 to Tyler Reddick. I'm so used to Daniel Hemrick because he drove that car last year. But now down the back straightaway, or we're going in the back straightaway, we get up to Kurt Busch, he slides up. It's going to allow Chris Busher potentially make it four wide, we're still three wide. I'm the one who's stalling out right now, I'm in the middle lane. Still three wide. Three wide, so there's Jimmy Jensen, winner of stage one. So far, not. I don't think even think he's in the top ten. But now we make contact with the one of Kurt Busch, as we're still making contact, I'm rolling on our back bumper. And still, looks like we're losing the draft. We're not losing the draft, but we're losing some momentum. We're still battling Kurt Busch for a top 15 position. 
trying to get back into the top 10. John and Nimitz are going to squeeze in the middle with four wide. Nimitz has to get out of the gas to let us by. And now look at that big gap between uh, us and Jimmy Johnson. That, that, you would really never see that in real life, Tyler Diga. Now down the back straight away we go. Make contact with the one of Kurt Busch. Still side by side. Kurt Busch is still going to get on my quarter panel. Now entering turns three and turns four. This time by when we get to finish line, it will be nine laps to go. Nine lap, or not nine laps to go, not yet. Emerald is going to give me the push. We move to 13th. Now we move up to 11. We're trying to get into the top 10. Trying to pass seventh time champion Jimmy Johnson. We're going to get him. But now, trying to go up to Jack. Trying to get ninth place. As Ellie is up here, the middle lane actually stalls out or lost their momentum. I have no idea. Ready? There comes Jimmy Johnson racing inside of the top 10. Because now we're still three wide right up in the middle. Amarola is not going anywhere. We're four wide for the eighth position. We're making four wide. Look, Joey Gase is going to lose. He's going to be the guy who, um, um, a lot to lose, right? As now, we're up in the top ten. Look, Jimmy Johnson also is working himself up to inside the top five. So, Jimmy Johnson, this seems he has pretty good speed. Potentially could win this race, maybe. A, a favorite. And now down the back straight away we go. Eight laps remaining. Down the turns three and turns four. We're going to clear Ryan Newman upside the top five. We're about to. Oh, the NCAA lane looks like it checks up. So, trying to go on the core panel. But we're no help. No help at all. It's going to allow Eric Amarola to get underneath us. Trying to just find any lane to get away. This guy which goes high. A bunch of people are just going high and low, faking out. Seven laps remaining at, in stage two. And now, entering turns one, turns two. Jimmy Johnson goes in the middle. It's going to allow Eric Amarola. Ryan Newman's going to be on our back bumper. The Reddick's going to go on the outside. And we're going to get a huge run. 200 miles per hour. If you see on the bottom right. And we're going to get on the core panel. Amarola. Jimmy Johnson's actually going to help Tyler Reddick. We have no help as well as Amarola. And now, entering turns three and turns four. And Brendan gone. The race leader. Like, I mean, I know I said, like, um, what is it called? My bad. My bad, guys. But you have to be in the, um, uh, when you're in, we actually go on the apron, as I say that, by Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has no wins this season. After 13 races, or after 12 races or something, no wins. And now, Brendan gone, like I said, uh, a win and you're in. But I don't even think he's in the top 30 in points. So he's maybe not playoff eligible, unless he has like a, an amazing run the last 20 races. So right now we're in the second position and now we're side by side for the race lead with Brendan gone, but Logano's in the instance in third place battling from Marola. You know how Logano gets in we should play races. He's very aggressive and look at him now. He's on my back bumper giving me a huge push. We're going over 200 miles right now. We're gonna just clear Brendan gone. I don't even know if he's gonna be in the second, third, top five. Bobby Carter is now in third precaution is out. Just, I don't know. I don't know what was actually for the caution. But, um, it looks like it was Justin Haley or something like that. Or Justin Haley, you know, um, I guess he caused the caution. Unless it's a pitch strategy call. So I don't know. But we're coming back to the research zone. It's myself and Joey Logano. The green flag is back on the air. Two laps to the side. Stage two at Talladega. And pit road is closed, so potentially if that was a, a pitch strategy for just an alien, my man, oh my gosh, that could have actually worked for him. But now, we are, oh, we actually go on the other in the apron there, that, I mean, I, you, that's not, Ill, that's illegal, you can't do that, but if you're not passing anyone, I'm assuming. So, a bunch, if you're watching this, you come in like, oh, oh, you can't do that, I wasn't really passing anyone. But look at tricks, it's all the way on the bottom lane, could potentially get a run there. I'm think I'm still thinking of Bobby Carter's paint schemes like Danica Patrick because that green looks so similar to Danica Patrick. But now entering turns three and four, coming at a four is now a little lane higher than Bobby Carter. But Chance is actually gonna get a run on the outside. Doesn't seem no help. Here comes Brendan Gunn who was just falling backwards and now the chance to win stage number two. The white flag is in, is out for stage number two. Look at Jimmy Johnson making a three wide move. Can he potentially win both stages? We're gonna block Bobby Carter. Now, Jimmy Johnson is right now in the top five, but Jimmy Johnson, he's fading, fading fast. Is now down the back straightaway. 
As now, let's see our tires are gonna have to come to the pit since none of us, except for Justin Haley or anyone else, I don't remember, will have to come to the pit since we didn't really camp to the pits at all in this race. Oh, we actually go on the track just a little bit. I might just, I guess it was just a habit or something, but that was a huge call. So, it looks like it's actually gonna allow Bobby Carter to win the stage, unless we can somehow get help from the 22. But if so, I don't even think it's gonna be enough at this point. Bobby Carter coming up the drive when Carter's gonna win stage two. Wow. I completely choked that as you saw there. Jimmy Johnson again. Top ten in the stage. So 13 stage wins for Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson fans, if you're watching this, which I don't even think anyone will be watching this. But yeah, there's Justin Ailey, I think. I honestly don't remember seeing him. It looks like we're coming to the pits. We're gonna take two cans of fuel, potentially. Potentially, we're probably going to take two cans of fuel. No, I'm debating. What should we do? We're going to take four tires and two cans of fuel. Because, you know, it's a restricted play track. We can get up there. I know it's like, say it's like, oh, you need track position. But, we hey, we can get there. We're coming back to the green flag. The green flag is back out in the air. We're back racing at Talladega with about 15 laps shootout. 15 laps remaining at Talladega as we're going to pull a duck under Chastain. But Chastain blocks him. Blocks me, my dad. But that's actually going to cause me a bunch of momentum since Chastain blocked me. Because we're trying to keep our spots now still. I'm trying to, we're still falling back. We gain about 11 points that stage. So right now, if we finish where we're at right now, we would actually fin We would actually get 30 points. We're going to go in the back bumper of source. Nobody's helping me. It's now Chris Bush is going to help me now. Get on the back bumper. So almost three wide. There's some Joe Gibbs cars line up. Jones, Trix, and Kyle Bush. We've not seen it up there. The only one I've really seen is Danny Hellman and sometimes Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush could be a favorite to win. We make contact with Trix and Newman. We were squeezed in the middle. As now we have no help. They check up. We make contact with Trix. He slides. He saves the car. Does he save the car? And he saves the car. He saves the car. And now I, it's going to cause that lane or himself actually a bunch of positions. Down the back stretch away we go. We actually lose some time. But now we're back in the top 15, 13 laps remaining. I know we are not out of this yet. But the more time we're up four wide. But the more time we're in that situation, just like what you've seen like that. We're going to lose so much time and so much positions. And now side by side we're back. Because once again, there's smoke up ahead. There's smoke. I believe that's Chris Busher, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's Chris Busher, who is smoking. It's going to cost a caution. And obviously, we have enough fuel. I think Jimmy Johnson is actually the race leader. If not, he's in the top five. But now we're coming back to the restart. So we stay out, obviously. We're in the top 15 now, so we're still not out of this race. But I remember we were in 15th at that last restart. We didn't really gain any positions. But Green Flood is back out here. 10 laps remaining at Talladega. Potentially a new winner. We get up to Brad Kozlowski just a little bit. Because I'll making a three wide move on Denny Hamlin and Corey LaJoy. Denny Hamlin has been very good at restricted play, ra restrict play races. Potentially, like, pretty much what we've seen, like, Every time we go to Daytona or Talladega in real life, 2020 or 2019, I guess, if you count that. But now we're in, in 12th position. And now, trying to get into the top 10, we're going to go on the back bumper of Amarola. I honestly thought it would work, but it actually hurt me more than Eric Amarola or any any of us. But now we're getting a huge push from Daniel Suarez. We're in the top 10. We're back inside the top 10. I know this race is not over yet. But only 10 laps to go, anything can happen. It took him to Byron and Saini, it's a good point, Jay. Let's go. Coming through the tri-oval. Byron's going to actually move up. It's going to allow Denny Hamlin on the inside. It's now 9 laps to go. Bobby Carter in the race lead. I believe that's Ross Chastain in second. Jimmy Johnson in third place. Still side by side for second, but Jimmy Johnson has no help. The more, the more, um... The more time me and technically my only myself just battling with any other guy. Jimmy Johnson's gonna lose a bunch of time, but now we're gonna get help from Denny Hamlin. Is now Henry turns three and turns four. And Jimmy Johnson actually goes high. Does I don't know if he has like a problem or something, or is that was just a commitment? If so, it's gonna lose him a bunch of positions outside of the top maybe twenty because we've seen that always happen. 
Pinnell, chance to win this race. Underneath David Reagan and Bobby Carter, just dance in a race in the lead. Maybe a watermelon party after this race. Eight laps remaining. Still, trying to get chase after. We're not chase after. We're now side by side with Ross Chastain. Go off the track. Chastain's gonna get a gonna give a help or not gonna give help. He's gonna get some help from David Reagan. As now we're still side by side. But now I realize I made a huge mistake going all the way under the inside. All the way on the bottom lane is going to cause me a bunch of positions. Well, not a bunch, a couple of positions. But now, with the help of Joey Logano, it's going to actually help us get more positions. As now, we're back up to Ross Chastain, so no worries. But the problem is there's Denny Allen, three wide for the race lead. Myself, Chastain, and Denny Allen, Logano, second place. Still. Three wide now for the race lead. Now Logano is in the picture. No help from me. Is now we are still saw three wide. Justin's gonna give us the help. Hamlin has the disadvantage now because he has no help. Logano's barely getting help from John or Nemechek. But still, side by side, Logano side drafting. I'm trying to side draft, but Logano's gonna get better side draft. Still Justin, still giving us the push. But now Logano is actually going to go on the inside lane, goes in the middle. I really if I just went to the bottom lane, not follow Logano. I would have actually had a chance to pass him. Here comes Matt Benedetto on the bottom lane. Potentially get his Wood Brothers 100 victory. And now side by side for the race lead. Logano has no help. I have a bunch of help on the inside lane. All the way back to Bobby Carter who's actually in the fourth position. Carter's actually going all on the inside. No help for Logano at all. We're going to take the race lead. But the caution actually comes out. Five laps remaining. Five laps to go. We got a caution. And it looks like it's for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. So this is technically not what we want. But I guess, you know, it's a good thing since we don't have to walk. Matt DiMenedetto is now in the second position. And now... The green flag goes back down in the air. Can at the Benedetto get his first career win and get on to victory for Wood Brothers? And Kyle Busch is right behind him with two laps to go. Can Kyle Busch get his third, not third, my bad. Can he get his first victory of the season? No luck for Kyle Busch at all. It's no one's season. Could this happen? Could he win? To this race at Talladega, I'm locking stuff in the playoffs. Obviously, he's going to make the playoffs in points if he still doesn't win. But he just wants to make a statement. He wants to win. He needs to win. That's what he says. And now, blocking the outside line. Gunnery turns three and turns four. Trying to go on the outside. We go on the outside a little too much. It's going to allow Kyle, which is potentially going to get a run. But we're actually pulling away about two car lengths now. Two car lengths is the gap. But Kyle, which is closing. He's closing with the help of 77 of Ross Chastain. Entering the trial. No car lengths. About one car length now. It's now white flag. Here comes Kyle Busch. I leave the inside lane open. He's gonna get some help from David Reagan. David Reagan's also known as a good a track uh, restrictor, restrictor play track. As we're gonna clear Ryan Priest barely is down the back straightaway. Can Ryan Priest help me to get up to first place and second place? We're gonna get a good run on David Reagan. Can Ryan Priest just stay in my bumper? Yes, he does. And now Edwin turns three and turns four right on board of myself coming to the coming out of four Kyle Bush can he hold up Did you remember the finish is not a trial for it's after the trial gonna duck down make a little contact whoa a little sideways we both get trying to go underneath Kyle Bush it's not gonna happen or Kyle Bush is going to win at the of her first race of the season what a finish it was actually a good finish here's the race results now Christopher Bell last race winner solid um uh, seven plays Ruby Johnson win stages win a stage and just you know just a bunch of big names in the bag but next race we're going to Pocono here's the playoff standing still playoffs points leader there's there you see it Kyle Bush is now your points leader and there's the rest of the playoff standings I'm still in third in the points but potentially win or regular season I don't know but guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to definitely subscribe like and comment I'll see you later peace out I'm out